Assetto Corsa Evo problems solved. Issues like I can't launch Assetto Corsa Evo on Steam will be solved in this video. Although Assetto Corsa Evo's launch day didn't quite go to plan for Kuno Simulzonio, the Italian studio has been hard at work to rectify its issues. In brief, a modified Assetto Corsa from a decade ago is still the ultimate racing sim in my view. On launch, the game featured a major bug that prevented players from accessing 14 of the game's 20 cars. This is ridiculous for first impressions. Not only is the small number of 20 total cars a bit useless, I mean compared to iRacing, Gran Turismo and the not so simulation Forza Motorsport. Right people, I used to think Forza Motorsport was the one until... Anyways, we're not talking about that for now. We're talking about Assetto Corsa Evo and its issues and how to fix them. The user interface is not polished either. Very long loading screens and laggy even on top end gaming PCs. There is more basic issues like the camera. I don't really know why, but somehow on the minimum hardware, the camera change lags the game terribly at one point crashing the game. <laughs> When I'm driving frames per second, FPS is fine because I got loads of LEDs on my PC. As we know, the more RGB LEDs, the better the FPS. Anyway, mine are fine, but the camera change creates an awful lag spike. It is kind of weird that something so simple can produce such problems. I used to believe Forza was the best until I built my gaming PC strictly for simulation driving or sim racing as widely known. Back to the subject of the failure of Assetto Corsa Evo and its many, many problems. The game's major modes require players to be connected at all times. All times. Come on now. Which has proven to be rather unpopular in the wider gaming community. With Evo's issue preventing anyone from connecting to Kuno's servers. Hmm. Not good. However, Kunos launched a workaround patch to allow players to freely use all 20 cars and is followed up by releasing a further fix to unlock car customization on the 20th of January 2025. Happy New Year people by the way. Sadly, any changes made to a car will be reset when exiting the game. All your hard work, buy in the bin, but Kunos has assured players it is working on a fix for the game's online mode. This is another letdown from Kunos who made Assetto Corsa Evo. Anyway, we know that early access Assetto Corsa Evo is a bit disappointing at the moment. There are ways to fix some of the problems found in the game. Problem 1. I can't launch Assetto Corsa Evo on Steam. <laughs> this is frustrating as you cannot even have your first drive straight away. Come on now. There seem to be multiple possible reasons for this. Some players have reported that allowing Assetto Corsa Evo to access their documents folder fixed the issue. Others mentioned that simply switching off their Windows Defender firewall for the time being, don't forget to re-enable it after playing, got their game running. For a third group, including myself, the devil lay in the detail of the Microsoft C++. Ugh. Redistributable package. Uninstalling and reinstalling the latest version eventually saw me in the game as well. Make sure install the right version for your system as installing a 32-bit variant times 86 will not fix the issue on a 64-bit processor and vice versa. PC gaming gets a bit technical. This is where like consoles come out on top. Plug and play, baby. But anyways, back to the proper simulation type of setup, which is PCs. If you still cannot launch Assetto Corsa Evo, to fix this, you need to go to your V-Sync in nvidia settings your graphics card settings check if you have that enabled this will prevent a lot of games from launching like even like 
yeah anyway, let's not go into whatever this will prevent a lot of games from launching also the game is only available to play on ssd so if you use your hard drive hdd the game simply won't work all right your old gaming pc needs upgrading my boy if that does not work i should refrain now uh, my girl my boy because you know there's girl gamers too girl drivers etc anyways if that does not work you will have to enter your windows firewall defender and make sure that it is not blocking the game just make sure the defender excludes the aceto corsa evo folder i right? you got that now that we can launch aceto corsa evo woo, let's move on to the next problem with this racing sim virtual reality vr is not working or it's glitchy ah another issue vr visual glitches and very poor performance right now but your steering wheel and control should work fine until vr is patched just play on a flat screen ah oh well if you have steering wheel issues you will need to go to your control settings and reselect them in your input wow. section Sonder. another issue frame rate issues perfectly optimized when it comes to performance some users have reported that even in the menus yo in the menus not even driving yet or drifting they experienced extremely low frame rates to the point of the menus becoming barely usable similarly their frames per second were really low when out on track disappointing i'm telling you people the old Assetto Corsa modified with the trucks that you want and the cars that you want is still the one. There does not seem to be a view. There does not seem to be a universal solution to this, as it looks like the issue is very dependent on individual PC setup a user is running. The rear view mirror resolution is reportedly a good option to turn down for FPS gain, frames per second gain okay turn your rear view mirrors resolutions down 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 also using dlss in performance mode can result in a smoother experience that works for any game pretty much triple screen setup issues you are watching a triple screen right now 55 inch triple screen i'm creating my ultimate racing sim please subscribe for more i'm still to do my um anti bezel free kit whatever but anyway subscribe for more because i'm gonna make this the ultimate and best sim racing setup on youtube subscribe many were delighted to hear that both vr and triple screen support will be on board from the starting ac evo but triples did not work for everyone initially some users reported facing a black screen when trying to drive in a session <laughs> others reported a skewed image on the center screen and none at all on the side screens you back to one screen babe for some a clean reinstall of the gpu drivers fixed this issue guys you know how long i spent fixing my gpu drivers anyways pain online servers not running multiplayer is not part of the first release of Assetto Corsa Evo but despite this the game's online servers not running caused some issues on early access launch day first and foremost it initially restricted car choice to the base cars in the game with everything else not being accessible this is hard to drive and talk about this but mere hours after the game unlocked a punch a patch that corner messed me up a bit but anyway a patch was released to fix this issue making all 20 cars available in offline mode most likely this is a result of the in-game economy being tied to an online server remember Assetto Corsa Evo will require certain licenses to allow players to drive certain cars and in the game currency for customization is likely also part of the online equation as a result neither car customization nor the driving academy worked out of the box and they still do not work at the time of reading 
and they still do not work at the time of making this video. The community was not happy and is still not happy including myself. That's why I'm showing you Assetto Corsa, the OG. Yes, baby, we're riding in a BMW M3 E92 at night. Bit sketchy, but anyways, Assetto Corsa right now has problems with random crashes. A number of players also experience random crashes, not of their cars, but the game itself. Really? Really kunos? This happened in different intervals for some. It was 3 minutes others had the issue when quitting a session. It seems for some other players the game is not very stable as of the first early access version. The early access launch of Assetto Corsa Evo had the sim racing community buzzing with excitement. However, it was not perfect by any means. When the clock hit 3 o'clock on January 16th, the sim racing community finally seemed united, or most of it anyway. Seemingly, everyone who loves sim racing games and Assetto Corsa basically was waiting to unlock it for the first early access release, which it did about an hour later than planned. Plenty of sim racers were happy to jump in right away. In fact, the concurrent player peak on Steam happened just an hour after, after the game unlocked and clocked 25,000 odd players and enjoyed what they were offered, but many others also reported various issues. Guys, Assetto Corsa has a lot of issues. I wouldn't bother with the early access. At the moment, I would stick with Assetto Corsa, the OG from a decade ago. So right now, I'm going to rate Assetto Corsa Evo as rubbish.